Welcome Aries again and Cross Watchers. Let's see what's on and popping with your energy. What's going on with um Aries this week? Remember Aries, I could be um I could be uh picking up on you, Aries, the cross watcher or a third party, okay? So let's see what's happening here. What are my Aries? Is? What is the overall energy between Aries and that person? What else for Aries? You're coming out of the King of Wands, Aries. But I feel Aries, like there was something here that had to do with money, okay? Somebody that you trusted, okay? It might have been, you know, in the workplace. It might have been a business you were doing. It might have been, you know... Um, whatever you were doing with money, with somebody, okay? It could even be hustling, okay? With money. I feel like somebody here tried you with money in some type of way. I feel like uh, somebody here, Aries, tried you with money. And I feel like I had to do something with a business. You know, I feel like everything was planned out. I feel like everything was worked out and you trusted this person. And when the time came that y'all did whatever you did together, it could be in the workplace. Remember, it could be your boss. It could be anything, but I'm picking up a lot on, um, you know, um, some type of business. I'm just going to leave it like that. And somebody here this something wrong when it comes to money you stand like the king of wands you are a leader you're a person that don't let nobody stand in your way you're a person that don't let nobody tell you what to do you're a person that you ain't a follower you're a person woman or man that don't let nobody stand in your way when it comes to abundance money your trust your leadership nothing of that sort and you stand like the king of wands meaning like you ready. I don't know what's about to pop off here, but you ready is what I'm hearing. Like, it might have been your past person or your the person you're dealing with. You feel me? It could be anybody. But it's like you about to turn heads real quick and turn into a nasty, 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 nasty motherfucker. Because of this deceitment they did to you. And it has to do with money. It could even be papers. That has to do with money. Something that you owned. Something that they couldn't touch. But they did. Hold on a minute. What else for areas here? That's crazy. What's that? There was some sort of argument here, real bad, with a person that was wearing a mask, with a person that showed their true colors, and it could have been the situation here. But I feel like, I feel like it was a friend, y'all. Yeah. I don't feel like it was a person. I feel like it was a friend, and it could be your person. It just says coming out as friends. But I feel like, for some reason, Man, there was a lot of business going on here. I ain't even gonna lie. And I feel like you're feeding so much. You're, listen, you're feeding so much into this that ain't nobody gonna take your mind of what happened here. It could be your person, man. It could be even a couple that's married here. They're trying to play with you. Um, your house, whatever you guys own together. You feel me? They may, listen, they might be trying to falsify uh, papers. I ain't even going to lie. But somebody here got jipped for money in a business here. 
and all hell is going to break loose. You might bump into this person. I don't know. You might be invited somewhere. It might have a, you know, a little getty or, ch you know, chitty somewhere in a family home and a, in a friend's home. And you might bump into this person. Be careful, man. Don't go to jail for nobody areas. It's not worth it. You know, you just can't, you know, I feel you because trust me, I feel you. But at the end of the day, you're going to get your shit back. You feel me? Because I feel like whoever here is going to bump heads is going to be real. It's going to be, it's going to be a problem. I'm picking it up. It's going to be a problem. But at the end of the day, you feel me that there's some areas here that can't trust somebody. You feel me? And I feel like you are going to come and meet up with some family you haven't seen in a while. You might be even seeing friends you haven't seen in a while. You feel me? But there's a certain friend here you can't trust. All right? They're coming out with, like, you know, a lot of abundance. A person that carries himself very, very, like... You know, I built this. I got this. Now, I'm not the same person as before. I made it. No, this person has problems and doesn't show it out to the public. You feel me? But for the most part here, whoever here you're dealing with is very impulsive. Is a person that breaks out into anger. Is, is a person that doesn't care. Is a person that really just like... Chooses more to chill with friends, family, whatever it is. The fuckery, the drinking, the smoking, whatever it is, than to chill with their own person. You feel me? For some of y'all Aries's. And y'all got tired. Flip the script. Move forward. Lost a lot of money in the process. Hold on a minute. What is for Aries here? The Queen of Swords. <laughs> you ain't taking no shit. Listen. You're going to be clear and direct when this person comes in. And you're independent, by the way. Because the Queen of Swords is very independent. The Queen of Swords don't ask nobody for nothing. Don't give a fuck about nothing. <clears throat> the Queen of Swords is very independent. Independent, man or female. Very independent. Okay? But you're going to be very clear. And what the fuck you want to say. And what the fuck you want to do. And very direct. I feel like somebody here is going to get it. <laughs> Not you. I feel like somebody going to get it from you. Aries. Because you trust this person. And this person backstabbed you. Hmm. I feel like somebody here used somebody. A lot. I feel like there was a there was a friends with benefits here a situation going on here. And this person did some crazy shit. You ain't taking no shit, Aries. You're being clear and direct. You're you're not taking no shit. Like you're moving forward and you don't give a fuck. You're telling everybody how it is, what it is, when it is, where it is, and what the fuck it is. You feel me? Like it's not like Listen, Aries, you standing in full power. Hold on a minute. What else for Aries here? Listen, tower. Listen, the extra, listen, the extra, oh my God, hold on. Aries, Aries. Sometimes the tower comes out and it's not bad. It's something good. You feel me? But like, is you want more. You want more and more and more. And you're going to move. You're Right now, I feel like Aries says some of you are feeling restless because you want more. But you know what? Some of you are moving on from this person. Created a... This person created so much shit and so much destruction. And everything was revealed to you. Like, I feel like a lot of you Aries has found out about the fuckery this person did. Did what you had to do and you're out of there. But some of you Aries still don't know what this person did. This person did something to you. And you're trying to find out what it is. It's going to come out. And it's going to create a big problem here. But it's going to be revealed to you. And then you're going to walk away. And look for somebody else. Because you ain't seeing this person anymore. 
And whoever comes here new better be careful with Aries because Aries ain't having it. Aries is going to be real fucking clear and direct of what they want. If you ain't going to give it to Aries, you ain't going to be a part of Aries' life. I'm seeing it all over the place. My ancestors are screaming it in the back. You're getting into your power, Aries. Very. You're very desiring whatever you want. You want more and more and more. And I'm not saying that you're being materialistic and you want more and you need it and you have to have more. I'm saying whatever's in serve you, you're going to kick rocks out of the fucking way. Move the fuck out of my way because, uh-uh, you don't deserve me. I'm better than you. It's the way that I'm seeing it. You move into better things. Hold on a minute. What else for Aries here? Mineta. This is good. I like this because this is the way that I am. Take no shit. Mm -mm. Balance. You're bringing harmony to your life. You're bringing peace to your life. You want balance in your life. Peace. You don't want no fucker in your life. You don't want all these energies from the past. Not one, but several in your fucking life. You feel me? And this person that messed that fucked you up. Listen, they might try to re uh, come back to you and try to like say I'm sorry and try to come into your energy again and try to like, you know, let me talk to you and explain to you whatever it is. If they do, hear them out, see what they got to say and then do what you need to do. That's, that's just how it is. You feel me? Because there's some secrets that are going to come out here. There's something that this person did that you're trying to find out. And listen, it's going to come out. This person is, my God, this person, listen, this person that you were with, they were doing so much shit behind your back, and I feel like you did find out about it. They were not only messing with one person, they were messing with two, three, four, and five. And now you're building for yourself. You're moving forward. Yes, there were tired moments. You're breaking those tired moments. You're leaving everything behind you. And you're bringing balance into your life. Peace into your life. That's all you want. And you ain't taking no for an answer. You ain't taking no for an answer. She's telling me. Hold on. This could be the past, present, or future person. How are they coming in? Towards areas peace. Minera. Dice ella que no se metan con ellos. Ay, Dios mío, se formó. She says, do not mess with them. Somebody here is coming here to bring us some happiness. Okay, so whoever here is coming towards your way in areas in the near future, I don't see it right now. I see it in the near future. They're going to bring you happiness. But this person that you left behind, their happiness is going to turn into shit because they broke your happiness. There's a lot of, like, listen, I even feel like they stole jewelry here from somebody. Wh whatever this person is looking for and somebody else, happiness or whatever the fuck they're looking for, they ain't going to get it. They're going to hit a tower everywhere they go. They're going to hit a problem everywhere they go. They're going to hit some fuckery everywhere they go. You know why? Because they fucked you up. They're going to try to come in and act like, you know, a person they ain't. This person is going to pick it up. You're going to get happiness at the end. Trust me and believe it's coming for you. Aries, you could be dealing with before I forget. You could be dealing with any earth sign. Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could be dealing with another Capricorn. You could be dealing with Sagittarius fixed with Scorpio. You could be dealing with Cancer, Libra fixed with uh, Virgo. Sagittarius. Gemini. And Leo. Okay, show me how this person is coming into the Aries. You're going to be happy at the end, Aries. You're going to get whatever you want. Keep on moving how you are with confidence and not giving up. The Knight of Swords. You ain't giving three fucks. 
You're going to go for your happiness. You're going to go for what you want. You're going to get what you want. And you ain't going to let nobody stand in your way. And this person, whoever did you wrong, is going to get it. <laughs> there he is. You ain't taking no shit here. It's like, it's like, if this person even so much tries to tell you something, like, you're going to flip if you already did it. Because I feel like some of you already did. There he is. How else is this person coming in here? You're tired. You want your happiness. You want everything to be balanced in your life. You want harmony. You know? You want to reconcile with people that caused you a problem. Like, this person caused you a problem in your whole life where you couldn't even be with people that you wanted to be with. And you want to reconcile with people that this person made you stop talking to. You feel me? You are going to reconcile with those people. Just be very direct. You feel me? And explain. If they're friends, they'll forgive you. If they're family, they'll forgive you. If they're not, they're nothing. You feel me? And you keep on moving. At the end of the day, you'll be moving on your own anyways. How else is this person coming in? Show me. Me neither. This person is going through it bad. You got it, you got it back. When you're on the phone, hang up and you come right back. This person, the three of swords, baby, this person is going through it. Crying, dying, thinking about it. They don't know what to do. They want areas back. No, they can't have areas back because you fucked up areas. Their happiness is all fucked up. Everybody coming at them sideways. Why? Because karma's a bitch. That's why. Everything's doing good. Keep on moving forward. Whatever. Here, you need to say, say, at the end of the day, you've been doing it. And, you know, listen, keep on going how you're going because you're going good. You're going to get happiness at the end. And you're going to see this person go through it because this person, mm -mm, this person ain't good for nobody. I'm sorry. Whoever this person is, it's like a pattern I'm picking up that they have. It's a pattern. It's a person that is not stable nor where they go. It's a person that... Is an image they project to some people, but that's not who they are. You feel me? Like, they're a whole nother person. And you look at them like, what? You ain't like that? Why are you acting like that in front of people? That's not who you are. And they're like, you know what? Act like that. You know that's the way I am. You feel me? It's like a person that tries to pretend who they're who they not. Who the fuck does that? I don't know. Is there a message here for Aries, please? Minera. Ochoom. <laughs> Is there a message here for Aries? Anything, Ochoom? One more time. Let me see. One more time. Anything for Aries? I guess not. Let me try one more time. Is there anything for Aries here? I don't want to give you nothing from here. There it goes. Somebody's stuck and is that person. You deserve love. You are lovable. Everything says it, man. You deserve love. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to have whatever you want and desire. You deserve love. Somebody's going to come in. All right? So I asked my ancestors to with these spiritual um, animal oracle deck to um, connect with your guide. And this is going to be a, um, something that your guide wants to tell you, okay? So let's see. What does Aries' guide wants Aries to know? There it goes. That was quick. So, humpback whale. Singer came out. Sing healing songs for the world. Your inner navigation always guides you. Nothing can stop you or keep you from your goal. Align with your purpose and the power in your soul. Damn, Aries. Like nothing can stop you, man. You feel me? 
Nothing can stop. Your inner power is navigating. Your guides are helping you. Nothing can stop you. Keep moving towards your goals. And nothing is going to stop you. You're going to get to your purpose with your power and your soul. Reach into your soul. Because your soul is going to help you. And if here, somebody likes to sing here, listen, sing. Because sing is to heal. Singing is healing. Listen, when I'm feeling bad and I turn on that radio or my YouTube, my pen, whatever it is, and I hear them songs, I don't only listen to them. I don't only hear them. I listen to them. I don't care if I'm in a good mood and a bad mood. I hear everything. Singing is healing. You might need to sing. Somebody here might just like to sing. Like me. I sing all day long. Aries, nothing's going to stop you. It may look now that you're going through it. She just told me. Somebody here doesn't believe they're going to make it. Listen, you are going to make it. It might look really, really fucked up right now. But listen, you're going to make it. You just got to be patient. Ask your guys to help you. It's clearly telling you. Your guys are leading you. Ask them for more. Okay? Give them some offerings. Light up candles. You just can't expect your guys to do all the work and not give them anything. You feel me? Look into your guys because they're guiding you in the right direction. You just need to give them a push. Give them something. This person's going through it. They're so heartbroken, they don't know what to do. Let me see. This could be past, present, or future. What do they want to tell Aries? What is the message here for Aries? They keep them from your spiritual guide. Let me see. What's the message? What else? What else? Okay. Let's see. So it says here, um, my mind and heart always come back to you. Yeah, because they're going through it. They're fucked up. I'm sorry I couldn't do right by you. Well, isn't it too late, Aries, huh? Ain't you in your power right now moving forward and fuck what they got to say. Those apologies don't mean shit to me. Your words linger in my mind. Yeah. It should linger in their mind because you know what? They're losing it. They're losing it without your areas. They're going through it really bad. Why? Well, you're going to be doing good and headed in the right direction. Get your happiness and everything you want. And live a peaceful life. So let's see. This could be first, middle, last initial. You want this person that just flew out. It could even be a nickname. Damn, they're just flying out on their own. That was, look, it landed into HI. Okay. Somebody here gave little pearl earrings. Little pearl earrings or little diamond earrings. And it has like a little hanging. It looks like a little, my God. It looks like a little, um... Teardrop earring, earrings. Like it's you know those earrings that you put on not like hoops, but they're just like close to the ear. I don't know the name because I don't wear them. It's like little diamonds or maybe pearls, and then it just has like a little teardrop. It looks like a teardrop hanging of a diamond or a pearl. I don't know. Somebody give those earrings to somebody, or it means something to somebody. It could be your parents, your grandparents, or somebody gave this to somebody. I don't know. That's very significant. They just show me those earrings. Okay, you have an O. I'm trying to pick up why they show me those earrings. You have an M. You have an O. Those earrings, those earrings, those earrings mean something to you. Very significant. N, which is also a Z. L. H. Which is also an I. You got a U, which you could also switch it into an N. My God, my dogs are like, that's not even my dog. That's my son's dog. We got a little parrot, a baby one. And they're all dying to see the parrot. You know, they want to eat the parrot. Okay, it's a Y. But my son's dog don't stop crying for it. My dogs are like, just chilling. Okay, so you got an H, which is also an I. You got another H. Which is also an I, very significant. You got an E. And you got an R. 
All right, so you know I'm going to flip. You got three I's, three H's. I'm going to flip this one. See if I can get you another letter. It stayed into an H-I, people. Let me flip this H-I. You got an N, which could also be a C. So that's two N's. Let me flip this H-I. See if I can get you some else. So you got an E. That's two E's on. Let me flip this and see if I can get you another one. You got a T. So you got two E's left. Let me flip this one and see if I can get you another letter. Set into an E. Let me try this E. Very significant E around here. You got a D. All right. So I hope that help you, uh, Aries, in some type of way. Keep moving forward and keep moving to your stability and your growth, all right? I'm going to wish you the best of luck and I'll see you later, my loves.